Parapet walls must be 42 inches plus or minus 3 as shown here. For parapet walls that don't match those specifications, or in some cases no parapet walls at all, a warning line can be used. However, in order for this to be in compliance per OSHA, it must be set six feet from the edge and there has to be a safety monitor as well. We all know that this is almost next to impossible in our line of work as we are not able to team up with someone automatically. And if we are, it takes a while. Um, and if that coworker was able to team up with us, they would have to be an approved competent person as well during fall protection. Would be nice is if existing rooftops had anchor points as shown here. This would solve a great majority of current challenges. This demonstration of using a strap and ratchet was actually created by XS Platforms. From the demonstration it looks pretty simple to set up. I want you to take a close look at this individual as he hooks up his positioning lanyard. Look how it only allows him to reach the storm drain, not the edge of the roof that clearly does not have a 42 inch parapet wall. Here are some examples of what we should not be attempting to use as anchor points. What we can use to tie off on as fall restraints, we can use a cross arm strap uh, and we can wrap that around an HVAC unit that is firmly attached to the roof or any steel beams that you may see. Um, cross arm straps and, and, and choke cables are, are to be used as part of our tie offs. Then our positioning lanterns are attached to that. If ever in doubt, stop work, take pictures, and get in contact with your HSE team for a proper risk assessment. And then from that point, they can direct you on what type of fall protection equipment you may you will need to do your job safely.